For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're gonna do these two problems which say the screw is subjected to two forces express each one in a Cartesian vector form then find, them, find the resultant force between the two then find the magnitude and direction angles Okay, let's break it down First we're gonna work with the first force so let me equal here so the first four has three components the x the y and the c component that we gotta find all right so you got this force and then you got this projection of this force into the x and y plane so we're gonna find that first so the projection of the x and y plane of f1 is equal to f1 which we know to be 300 cosine of 60 and that comes out to be 150 so this force right here is 150 and the c is this component is the same as this component they're the same thing is f1 sine of 60 which is equal to 259 0.8 now the x component is going to be this vector right here the x component of f1 and it can easily be found by doing the x and y plane projection times the cosine of 45 which is equal to 106.1 actually this is the y f1 x and y is equal to the cosine of 45 which is and the x component is this one which will be the sine of 45 which is the exact same thing as the cosine of 45 they're the same number so it's also 106.1 but the positive x-axis goes this way and this one goes the opposite way so it's a negative so now we got f1 which is negative 106.1 i plus 106.1 j plus 259.1 0.8 okay now what we're gonna do f2 which is pretty easy because f2 has an x component a y component and a c component but we're given the direction angles which makes it much easier so in the x is f2 cosine of 60 So it's going to be F2 cosine of 60, which is equal to, I have it right here, 250. Now the Y is going to be F2 cosine of 45, which is going to be equal to 353.55. And the last one is F2 cosine of 120 which is equal to negative 250 so f2 is equal to 250 i plus 353.55 j minus 250 k now that we have um now that we have both forces, we can find f of r, which is equals to the sum of those two forces, f of 1 of f of 2. Basically, you just add the x's with the x's and the y's with the y's. X's with the x's and y's with the y's. And when you add them up, you're going to get that the resultant force is equal to 143.9i plus 459.65 J 
plus 9.8k. Now they're asking you for the direction angles of the resultant force and for that you're going to need to find the magnitude first. To find the magnitude, you just remember that the magnitude is equal to f of x squared plus f of y squared plus f of c squared. Basically all three components squared and square rooted, which is going to be equal to 481.7. That's for the magnitude of the resultant force. Now to find the directions, direction angles, which are these three, of f of r. Remember, this is the one that it forms with the x, this is the one that it forms with the y, and this is the one that it forms with the c. All you got to do is the cosine inverse of the x component over f of r, which is why we found this number, which is this right here. So basically, for the first one, you divide the x component by f of r. For the second one, you divide the y component by f of r. And for the last one, you divide the c component by f of r. And you do the cosine inverse of that number, and it should give you the angles. The first angle is going to be 72.6. The second angle is going to be 17.4 and the third angle is going to be 88.83 degrees, degrees, degrees. Now all that's left is determine the direction angles of f of 1, f of 1 direction angles which are this one, this one and this one and you do the same process and you're gonna get remember f of 1 is given is 300 and we got the x y and c components over here don't forget the signs so you're gonna get that is equal to 110.7 69.29 and 30 degrees so these are the angles uh, determine the direction angles of f of 1 that's done Square subjected, they want the Cartesian vector form of the two, which are right here and right here. Then find the magnitude and direction angles of the resultant force. This is the magnitude and these are the direction angles. Final answer.